Today, I'll be showing you how to make a drawing appear on screen as if it's being drawn on using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So if I take my paintbrush tool and I'm gonna turn off my fillings and I'm just gonna draw like the best flower you've ever seen in your whole entire life. I'm gonna have that draw on in After Effects. I really, really like having things draw on. I don't know why, it's cheesy, I know, it's been done, I know, but there's something really special when you make one of your drawings just draw on. I love it. I'm going to file import that guy. And here we go, flowers AI, import as composition, retain layer sizes, whatever. It's all black because the After Effects background color is by default black. I'm just gonna make a new white solid drag it below. Here's my flowers. Yay. They're going to draw on. It's going to be so great. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to create and create shapes from vector layer, right? Amazing. So here are all of my groups. I click on the groups. I turn on the mask view. I zoom in and holy smokes, what is going on here? If I click on my path for one of these guys, they are not strokes anymore. They're filled shapes. Why would they do that? Like I drew it with the paintbrush tool. The paintbrush tool told me that it was a stroke. I bring it into After Effects. It is not a stroke anymore. Now, what do you do? You're going to go back to Illustrator. And in Illustrator, you're going to select all this stuff. You're going to go over to where it says brush. You're going to change three point round to basic. You basic. You're going to go back up here. You're gonna make it the size you want. I know it's got those sharp square edges that are called butt caps. Nasty, not my favorite. I'm gonna save it. I go back to After Effects. Here's my layer. I want it to update so I can just right click, reveal layer source and project, right click, reload. I'm gonna change this to full resolution, right click, create, create shapes. Look at that. Now it's a path. That is fantastic. I want it to draw on. That's going to be super easy. All you have to do to make it draw on, my friends, is you're going to go to add. You're going to go to trim pads. If you've never used trim pads before, trim pads is really great. Imagine it like a big sock, okay? And the sock is covering up your entire layer, right? It's covering up your whole entire drawing. And when that sock is, it's a visibility sock. I know it invisibility cloak from Harry Potter, visibility sock in After Effects. Bear with me. Whoa! So the visibility sock, if it's set to zero to 100, and it doesn't matter if the start is at zero and the end is at 100, or the end is at zero and the start is at 100, it doesn't matter. It's the same. So you can, as long as you're going from 100, 100 to 100, zero, or 100, uh, zero, zero, to zero hundred, you're good. And you're going to turn on your start and end drawings. I'm gonna turn off the path for this. This is all drawing on simultaneously, which I never like. I'm like, really? I have four hands, four hands or six hands. However many groups I have, that's how many hands I have? No, I don't think so. So I'm gonna change this from simultaneous to individual. And now it's going to draw on individually. That's so cute. I always play with like, like, does the end look better or does the start look better, right? So I'm going to start both of these at um, 100 because that looks best. And I'm going to gradually change this first guy to be going to zero. So zero, I go to 30, and then this is going to go like this. So here we go. Oh, look how cute. But... I hate all of these angles. It's so sharp. It is not smooth. Enter the butt capper. So you go over to the right in the window menu and you go to butt capper. There's my butt capper. And this is magic, friends. Click on the name of the layer. First of all, we want to fix these nasty corners here. Now, if you can't see them properly, that's okay. Just go to one of your shape drawing tools, increase your stroke width so you can really see them. Yeah, that's called a butt cap right there. It is not my favorite. 
So if you go over here and you click on line cap style to round, it's going to round out your ends for every path that's inside of this particular uh, layer. Okay, nice. But see how this is still sharp? Ew. So if I hold the alt key down and I click on the round cap type, it's going to round my edges as well. So look at this difference. So this is what it looked like before the butt capper. When I click it once to round my ends and option click it a second time to round my corners, now it looks like it's been smoothed out. Yes, butt capper saves the day. It's amazing. It'll save you so much time. And then I can go back and be like, yo, that is not an appropriate stroke width. I can change the stroke width, the color, whatever, whatever. So that, my friends, is the butt capper. Now, one final thing, if you notice that your paths are drawing on in the wrong order, here's what you're gonna do. So when I first drew this on in Illustrator, I had the stem come out from my flower and as it's drawing on, I'm noticing that the stem is drawing on the wrong way. So here's how you fix that. First, you turn on toggle mask and shape path visibility, and then you're going to select your layer. Now, if you're not seeing your path outlines, turn on this little guy right here, the toggle mask and shape path visibility button. Then once you see it, you use your pen tool, hotkey is G for the pen, and then you come over here and you click on one of these paths. Now you have to have your whole layer swiveled open in order to see all of that stuff. So if you're not seeing all of these different properties, just hit U two times really fast, U, U. And then swivel down and you will see that the path that you have selected with your pen tool has been highlighted. And then to change the order that it's drawing on from being starting at this last point to starting with the first point, let me just turn this off so you can see what I'm talking about change the path direction. So click this button here, and now it's gonna draw on from the correct spot. If you have an idea for an upcoming tutorial for me to do, please let me know. And if you liked this tutorial, please let me know what you liked about it. All right, thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.